This is a brief demo of the Performance Appraisal app. The app is built in Power Apps and connected to SharePoint. The app is based on the current version of the CGS appraisal currently built in Adobe and not connected to a data source. There are a total of 15 comment fields and 15 rating fields, in addition to three non-digital signature blocks with three date fields. In this demo, you can either sign an existing assessment, complete a self-assessment, or a subordinates assessment. A short list of employees appears on the screen with a search box at the top connected to Office 365. Once you begin typing, a form appears on the screen which has the same employee fields as the PDF version. Once you find the person you are searching for, click their name on the left to populate the form on the right. If you select the wrong person, just click the X to clear the form. Then type in the correct person. Fill in the fields which did not populate, such as the employee ID and department. Select the evaluation type, enter the hire date, and add the last appraisal date. Some logic has been added to the fields to prevent incorrect differences between the dates as you can see. In this first case, the last appraisal date was entered correctly but was before the entered hire date, which meant the hire date was entered incorrectly. Until these errors are cleared, the user cannot advance to the next screen. Next up are the performance measures. These are in a tab layout versus scrolling on a PDF version. However, you'll notice that only 8 of 15 tabs are here. You'll see why in a moment. On the screen you have the subordinate's name at the top. The tab performance measures. The evaluation criteria. Rating definitions, and the fields for the supervisor's comments and rating. Simply select a performance measure tab, then begin typing your comments into the box below. When you're done, select a rating on the right, then click another tab to progress through the form. We'll speed it up from here until we reach teamwork. This tab is the same as the others. However, you have to enter a rating to proceed to the subsequent tabs. Once you do, the next button will appear. Click next and the other seven tabs will appear. Just as before, work your way through the tabs and complete the form. When you reach the overall tab, you'll see the average rating. If it is two or less, an explanation of policy and a link to the PIP policy will appear. The link opens on a separate browser tab. Type in your overall comments. Select the appraisal date, then tick the attestation box. Same as before, the next button will not appear until action is taken. 
On this screen, you'll see all the completed fields from the form as well as the overall rating, explanation of policy, and a link to the PIP policy. Again, ticking the attestation box brings up the next button. This takes you to the signature screen. What you see here is based on the PDF version. However, you can sign on the screen. Only one button will be enabled based on the user, so just click the button which appears next to your name. Draw your name in the pop-up box. Click the disk, and your signature will appear on the screen ready to upload with the form to SharePoint. Since this is a demo, all three buttons are enabled but two buttons will otherwise be disabled. Upon upload, you're navigated to a success screen, then back to the landing screen. And here is our appraisal demo list with the upload we just completed. Last but not least, if an appraisal was completed for you or you are the next level supervisor, you can click sign an assessment and there will be a list of assessments missing your signature. You'll click the one you wish to sign and will be navigated to the form. When you're done, just click Upload. If you have any questions, please contact me. Thank you.